2016 Isuzu NPR HD. Uh, it's a truck that we're selling, has about 207,000 miles. We'll go over that in detail after we do the interior part. Um, I figured doing a video going over it is like posting a million pictures when you go to sell something. Sorry. Hopefully the cars aren't too loud. We're selling this truck because we got a new one. So I don't really need this one at all. It's uh, not doing us any good, so might as well send it off to somebody else or it will do good. It's, it's a great truck. It's solid. Uh, recent updates have been the rear tires are brand new in November, but we stopped using this truck October, I think it was. Um, and since then, I just kind of take it out on the weekends or here and there when I need it because I want to keep it fresh. I don't want things to sit, but uh, we've decided that we just need to sell it. We're thinking about holding on to it, but we're just not really using it. So sorry that there's some dirt on it. I just got back. Uh, I was driving around this morning. And it's just the way the roads are, as you can tell, the driveway is uh, wet and just muddy. So it kind of shows up on everything. So uh, here we go. So everything in the truck works fine. When we first thought about selling it, it was perfectly clean, but I've been using it. And just this time of year, as you can see, it's just, it's just gross out. Uh, the front tires are in excellent shape and bury my fingers in there, fingertips. Everything works, horn works, um, hazards, all lights. The truck is fully functional. It's recently inspected here. And, um, and that cardboard box is just a couple things that go along with the truck. Um, there's a camera, a rear reverse camera up there. I have the monitor up there. It got a new windshield in November because I got a heck of a chip in it and I needed to put one in to pass inspection, which was 11 of 24. So it's recently inspected in New Hampshire. Um, this truck is good to go. It's turnkey, ready to drive. It's a great truck. It rides extremely well. It has mileage wise, to be exact, like that. It has, let's see if I can show it well, what, 207, 787. It's as of right now. I might have a few more miles on it here and there, but you know. Ranks, runs good, batteries were checked uh, not too long ago. Um, has an aftermarket radio, it also has USB and Bluetooth, which is great, much better than the factory, very basic radio. Extra cup holder uh, there, glove box, overhead storage, dome light I replaced with an LED one because the other one was just kind of not doing anything good. Um, I had this truck a couple of years when we got it. It had a little bit of damage there from, I don't know, somebody got hungry and chewed it at lunchtime, but um, that's that. And this thing got melted by something. I don't know what happened to that thing, but somebody melted that a little bit. But other than that, the interior is perfect. And um, document holder there, just actually quite handy. Um, I don't need to run the truck anymore. It's running great. Uh, let's see. It's got some behind the seat storage. It's got wheel chocks in the box and uh, the triangle kit. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the interior. It's got, it's got everything it needs in here, safety equipment wise. Yeah, the speakers are, were replaced because the other ones were just terrible. So you can actually hear going down the road. Uh, the truck, when we got it, it was um, a Penske truck that was leased to a company that only delivered coffee. So it had a really easy life. Um, so the suspension is still great. Truck still rides nice and smooth. These are the brand new rear tires. They're nice and grippy, but they ride really good on the highway. This uh, weird banana shaped thing is actually for traffic cones because we used to like to put a couple up when we had to park on the road. So these slide traffic cones on there, they never fall off. We already set up the ramp here. Nice long ramp, very useful. Um, and one thing that I like about the ramp setup Kind of put this little thing together because trying to pick it up from one side or the other is a real ton of force on your back. I want to make your life easy. I just put this strap on, do that, chip it out my foot a little bit, and drop it down, reclip it, and slide it in. It makes life real easy. The box in here is in fine shape. Um, this is all factory plywood, the e track system all the way, which is one of my favorite parts. Um, see through roof. As you can tell by the plywood, there's no leaks in the box because you would see streaks. 
So the plywood's all in really good shape. The floor is solid oak. There's a little bit of wetness from what we were just moving this morning, which was just um, doing a, helping somebody get rid of a, like a old outside, st outside stuff. So kind of a little bit of water in it, but that is, the wetness on the floor is just from those items that we put in here. It's not any kind of water leak. It hasn't actually rained here in a couple days, so. Uh, the steps are custom. They're camper steps. They're aluminum with rubber grippy strippies. Pop those on. Makes life real easy. We cut out the step, look like that side with the crossbar. We cut it out, fit this in, welded it in. It's been like, it's been on there for years. Super handy. Um, it's, we get a lot of compliments on that. A lot of people ask if that's something that, uh, you know, that's like factory or something we order with the truck. It's not just something we put on. We just put on both of our trucks. We sold the other box truck already because we bought two of those new trucks. Um, and as far as the outside, I uh, put a new knock sensor in it this morning because it had engine codes, so that's brand new. Um, other than that, there's, there's no codes. Everything's running and driving great. There's a little solar panel hanging down on the other side you might have saw earlier in the video, and that just helps to maintain the batteries, keep their charge. Um, and, you know, we used to run lights in the box when we were sitting all day looking for an installer or a job. But, um, yeah, the truck's, the truck's in excellent shape. The truck's in good shape. Super easy to get to the wipers and everything else. So, now, probably a good time to take a look at the engine. So in here, it's a 5.2 liter inline four cylinder diesel, and it's really clean. I mean, really clean. We can walk around and show you the other side. Uh, this truck is good to go. There's really not much to say here. I mean, all, all the lines are in good shape. The other truck had had the power steering lines kind of rust out and failed, but uh, which was these lines on the other truck. But these lines are still like brand new. So I don't know why the other one, I think the other one, the other truck we had had a harder life than this one had before we owned it. The other one, that one delivered paper. The paper's heavy and I'm sure they probably ran the truck at full load if not more. Because that suspension was a little bit rougher than this one, I would say by comparison. This one delivered coffee. Um, so it never really had any weight. Just like, you know, coffee and other things around that. So yeah, this thing's good to go. Um, if you're interested, let us know. It's a great truck, it's solid. Drives mint. Come check it out. Let's buy it. Won't be upset. Uh, been dealer maintained. So that's it. Thank you.